proud Yorkshireman, uh, I'd better not let you go without asking you about yesterday's um, debacle at Headingley, the opening one, that, that, that West Series One Day International. Poor old Yorkshire spent oh, six hundred thousand pound new drainage system and first heavy downpour, and it's been found wanting. Do you feel a bit for Yorkshire? Do you think the ECB are guilty of misadventure by allocating a one-day international to Yorkshire so early in the English summer before the new drainage system has bedded down? Well, I didn't know much about it because I was playing golf yesterday at Warburton. It was a terrific day for golf, but uh, apparently in Yorkshire it was pouring it down. I've seen the pictures. And yeah, it's a big, big loss for Yorkshire. They were desperate to have a one-day international. Everybody loves what, watching a Headingley Test match or an Headingley one day. It's always a packed house. The atmosphere, there's the fancy dress. And listen, I'm as disappointed as anyone. It got rained off. And uh, when I saw the pictures, and uh, it looked like the square was fit, the pitch was fit, but everywhere else was flooded. Yeah, a bit of a strain. I think the pitch only went down about five, six weeks ago. So yeah. that probably didn't help, did it? But. Um, um, I just think it's one of them things, and there's only Lords really what's got first class facilities really, that's the only ground in England where you know if it rains you're going to be on there as soon as it stops and, and that's the only ground unfortunately in England what you can guarantee that.